I am on vacation. We're gonna drive home back to Vancouver later tonight. And I'm here, you know, we're shopping, we're doing our thing. I'm wearing my uh, Teresha shirt from Universal Studios. Yeah, by the way, that's in Japanese, not in English. That's a very bad camera angle, I apologize. But the Red Wings, they finally did it. They pulled the trigger. Alex Debrinket is a Red Wing and it only took weeks of negotiating and updates from insiders saying that Iserman did not want to extend to bring it to an eight-year deal. I'm going to admit this video is going to suck. I just saw the news upon getting back to the place and getting internet for the first time in like the entire afternoon. So I just briefly read over the trade. I saw the extension. I was like, okay, we got to make a video about it. And then when I'm all settled back at home later this week, we're going to talk more so in depth about it. So I apologize. This video is going to suck, but I just wanted to get my immediate reaction out there. The return is, if I could recall this off the top of my head, Alex Dabrinkit in exchange for Dominic Kubelik, Donovan Sobrango, a conditional first, and a Red Wings fourth. Four assets right there, that in which are not as valuable as that top 10 pick the Ottawa Senators gave up last year to get to Brinkett in the first place. And that's not a surprise. We knew this entire time because DeBrinket wanted out, he didn't want to extend in Ottawa, and because Detroit was like the only team that everybody kind of saw all the signs pointing towards, yeah, it's going to be the wings, it's going to be the wings, Sense had no leverage. So Sobrango, he's a prospect that I liked. He was playing in the OHL, I believe, the previous few years, and we actually did make a few videos over the past few seasons talking about Sobrango. Not going to run anything too special about him, but he is a prospect that is included in this deal. Dominic Kubelik is, of course, a middle-to-top six scoring forward that has had better days. He was pretty all right in Detroit. I'm not going to lie. I kind of liked Kubelik and the connection he had with Pia Suta, for example. But aside from that, first round pick, conditional first. You had to get a first in there. There was no way this trade was going to get done without it. And then there's a fourth on top of that too. The Red Wings then extend Dabrinka to a four-year, seven point, what is it, 7.8 million? 7.875, something like that. If it's not that, 7.7, .7, whatever it is. Something in that range. Again, I just kind of saw everything off the top of my head or right on my computer screen when I got Wi-Fi back. But either way, we knew that Stevie Y did not want to go long-term with Debrinket. A lot of people were kind of concerned as to why that was the case, because Debrinket, I mean, he was drafted in 2016. He's like 25, 26 years old, so there definitely still is a lot of time for him to be good and for him to show off at the NHL level why he was a 70-point scorer multiple times in the past. Stevie Y, though, sticks to his morals. He gets the contract done at four years, and the dollar amount, based off of what Debrinket is, if Debrinket comes into Motown and he gets 60 to 70 points, I'm okay with 7 million AAV, 7.8, whatever it is. If he goes out there and he does something that we were hoping that he would do in Ottawa but didn't, and he grows, he gets maybe 80 points in a season, he's playing with Raymond, he's playing with Larkin, whatever... That's a really good contract, especially if he's able to do that for the four years that he'll be signed on with Detroit. Think about it like this. The Red Wings essentially traded Tyler Bertuzzi away for a bunch of stuff, and they used some of those accumulated assets. Not those assets specifically, but magnitude. You know, assets of similar magnitude to make a trade with the Sens and get to bring it in return and sign him to an extension. I saw this comment on the subreddit, but the Red Wings essentially just turned Bertuzzi into Debrinket, and I kind of like that a lot. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It's like 29 degrees Celsius in this car right here. I gotta go because I'm burning up. I'm gonna make a proper video about this Iserman Red Wings Debrinket thing soon, but for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section about Debrinket coming over to Motown. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.